Okay, so as seen in the first video, we put the bigger 2.8 size tires on this Traxxas slash two-wheel drive VXL model. Now, when running the bigger tires on this, going from stock to bigger tires, you know, there's going to be more weight and uh, just the size of these wheels and tires, you're going to need to bring the gearing down just enough. I brought it down to an 83 tooth um, because when starting off with the stock, you're going to have that high speed, you're actually high acceleration. So right off the bat, you're going to get the high acceleration, quicker acceleration, but with the bringing down this gear, it will uh, take away that acceleration and uh, add on to the speed. So your transmission isn't right off the bat giving so much torque that it's going to break the axles or break something inside the transmission with these big tires. So as I show you in this video, that disc, you have to keep that on. Make sure that does not fall off. That is your brake to your slipper clutch. Now I'm putting on the 83 tooth pinion, or not pinion, sorry, just the gear, whatever it's you would like to for it to be called. Uh, put on the spring and then that nut that goes back on over the top. Make sure you want that as tight as possible. Um, that is the best for the truck, pretty much. Um, I'm right now running the stock pinion gear. And as you can see, as I move the axle, it's moving the slipper clutch, is what we want to see. And now, since I put on a smaller uh, gearing, I have to move that pinion gear. So right now, to make sure that slipper clutch is tightened down all the way and the axles don't move, I have to put that other wheel on just so it has traction, you know, it's or just so it has grip so that uh, it doesn't spin the axle and it won't allow me to tighten down the slipper clutch. So I'm gonna tighten it down right here. Finally, now that that's done, we're gonna take that wheel back off and I'm gonna take a, I'm not sure what size it is, but whatever size that goes to the uh, bolt keeping the motor in, we're gonna grab that. And just by loosening the bottom bolt, loosen it just enough so that the motor will teeter on the top one. You're gonna make it tight with the gear. The pinion gear will be, should fit flush within the teeth. Um, and then you're gonna tighten that back up. And now that they are turning how they should be, we're all good and we're all set. And you can also do an 86 tooth gear. You can do a 90 tooth gear, which I think is pretty much what it comes with. And we put it to a 83 tooth gear. So everything is gonna work out now. Everything is perfect how it should be. As you can see, wheels and tires are rotating perfectly. When both rotated at the same time, everything will move. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, we will hopefully be doing a video outside and running the truck. If you liked, please subscribe.